Well, hi everyone. This is uh, Kishore from AppsDB.info. In the previous session, we have started the uh, started applying the patch from you know twelve two two or twelve two ten, and it got successful. Uh, you can uh, you know you can see that we are able to access it, and also the release name also is showing as you know twelve two ten. Why not I trap and put in my thing? Yes, able to. <clears throat> Able to access that so now what we do uh, you know I just watched that uh, still this one is still showing as 12 to the apps version so for that what we do is as we did it for 12 uh, when we upgrade from 12 1 3 to uh, 12 to uh, 12 2 you know we will run auto config so that because there are some major changes happened right so for that what we do is we run the Perl script this will create a zip file <clears throat> We'll copy the zip file to the to the Oracle home. So for that, I will run the test environment file. All right, so it is completed. Uh, so what I do is I copy this apps util to the temp location, and I go to the database tab, and I I copy like this, and I say unzip minus o apps util dot zip file. So this is the normal procedure what we normally do, and then we run the auto config. Right, uh, so now I go to app city scripts. Let uh, me run auto config on the you know, on the on the database tab, and then we run the auto config on the application tab. So once this is completed, we will uh, run auto config on application tire also. We'll do that so that we can verify whether the apps version is successful or not. Uh, so first we need to wait for this one to complete. Yes, it's got completed. So now we need to be on the, not on the uh, database. We should be on the application. Oh, we are already in the application. So we run this. So this will take for a, why I'll just pause this session. Well, <clears throat> if you see that uh, the auto config is uh, completed and also the apps version, we are able to see 12.210, huh? which is amazing, right? <clears throat> so then what we'll do, we will start the application and uh, see whether everything is fine. Then we can do the cleanup and uh, so for that, what I do, I uh, go to add scripts home and I'll start the application and we will verify whether we are able to access the application so this is the command to start all all right uh, so we'll wait for this uh, application to be started and then we'll verify from the front end the application is started so now what we'll do we will connect to our application and see whether we're able to access we have put so much of effort on this so we have to see the results okay i need to do a port forwarding i just let me validate my host settings yeah it was a problem with my host file i just updated the correct host file so now i'm able to access the application oh 
okay so this is the first time you see this so what you have to do is yeah so here uh, we have to say unlock all yeah we have to say unlock all and then say I am I, I am finished making changes to the configuration file so then you say proceed and now again you will have We'll just see the screenshot. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, we are able to see 12102 and 12210. So, which is amazing, right? Uh, so, now what I do, I just uh, collect the screenshot. I do even this one for my clients. So, when something you have achieved, then you need to show. So what I do is I just take like this and just uh, uh, yeah I think this is a good one so just say that yeah we are in 12102 so yeah 12 2 2 10 yeah, with 12c database yeah. so the next one will be Oh uh, yeah, so next one will be we have to do some pre-clone steps and all that we'll do in the uh, next session. So let me capture this screen. Always try to capture the screen because you achieved something. So sometimes we need to praise ourselves, right? We need to get motivation. So that's the reason why I always, uh, I always put the screenshots just to yeah we have achieved one more uh, one more milestone. So thanks for watching. So in this, we have just uh, in this session what you have observed is so we have seen that our 2010 patch is completed, and we have seen that release name is completed. Release name, uh, you know, release name is 12210, and then we ran auto config on application tag and database tag, and also we verified the version in the context file, and we started the application and we were able to see the next steps are very simple steps. So we will uh, do a cleanup. We do FS clone and uh, we'll apply the help patch on the yeah actually what we can do we can first apply the help patch and then we can run that too because uh, at the same time everything will be taken care then we run the pre-clone and we'll take a backup so that's pretty much so we will see in the uh, next session thanks for watching